building an entire new industry. We're trying to replace um, you know, a petrochemical industry that's been around for almost 100 years. And you look at all the people that work in the oil industry, and it's uh, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people. So the, the possibility that this is going to grow to that scale is very real. My name is Bill Roberts. I'm a professor of aerospace engineering at North Carolina State University. And we're working on various processes to convert uh, animal fats, lipids, uh, oils into um, drop-in replacement for liquid transportation fuels. And we're primarily interested in uh, new feedstocks, uh, algal oil-based feedstocks, and um, uh, aviation fuels. So there's a lot of interest in, in algae right now because um, you can grow it uh, in marginal lands, desert, you can grow it in ponds, you can grow it floating in the ocean. The particular strain of algae that we're interested in, Denaliella, is a marine microalgae, so we're not competing with freshwater, which is also a limited resource. You know, we have to be able to replace fossil fuels, and so the, the ultimate job creation of these kinds of investments are on the orders of hundreds of thousands or millions of jobs. It's going to be um, good, high-paying jobs, but it's also going to be jobs in uh, economically disadvantaged areas. Um, we're just now at the forefront of trying to domesticate some of these uh, single-cell organisms, and, and I think it's, it's going to be um, uh, impossible to over-predict what we can get these to do. Um, so I, I think it's a, a very exciting.